in this in this demonstration let's try to understand the uh, functionality of the web c2 div uh, malware so if you remember in the last demonstration the malware made a dns query to a domain and it then made an http connection it requested an html page and in the html page it 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 was expecting uh, a specific tag that is a div tag in this case what i'm doing is uh, i've configured my inet sem in this case to give return this html page when it when the malware makes the http connection also notice that i am i have I am giving a tag here which malware was expecting. So it was expecting a tag something like this div safe colon some string and then balance uh, greater than sign. So I'm giving this string. So when malware makes an HTTP connection, this HTML page will be given back to the malware and then let's see what it does. So if you are thinking what this string is, what this string decrypts to, let me uh, go to my windows machine where i have the decryptor okay you see here it's the exact same string let's see what this string decrypts to okay so python decryptor you see that this string decrypts to a string called jabc01 so there is a reason why i gave that string uh, in the div tag so which you'll know in some time for now let's start analyzing the malware so at this point, the malware is ready to make an uh, uh, internet connection. And if you remember the user agent uh, that it's going to use is this user agent, which is my host name, uh, some string followed by my host name. And then it is, it is going to make a connection to the URL. And if you remember, this is the URL that it is, that it makes a connection to HTTP crowns golf. And this is the page that is going to request that about.htm. So after I run this function, you will see uh, the activity on the pack uh, on the on Wireshark. So you see that there is a uh, DNS query to this domain, and Inetsim responded with this IP address. I'm there was an HTTP communication. You see that the user agent is this, and then if you see here, the Inetsim gave a HTML page back to the malware. If you remember, th this was the exact same HTML page, but this time there is a slight difference. This tag word was added. Uh, uh, this tag word, uh, this tag is additional. And if you remember, this is the kind, this is the tag that the malware was expecting. So now, after giving this HTML content, let's see what malware does. Okay, so it calls internet read file to read the content from the internet. So after I run this function, you will see that. The malware received the content from the inet sim and also notice the div tag here. So let's see what it does. Then after running it, it, it hit this function where if you remember, it was checking for the div tag here, right? So, uh, less than followed by div tag div space safe colon that's exactly what what we have given to the malware space and then it was also looking for the ba balance string b l a n c e uh, greater than sign that's exactly what we have given so now let's see what this function does now if you re remember because there was no div tag last in the last demonstration the function returned zero and and what happened was the malware uh, went to sleep so in this case, let's see what happens. In this case, because there was div tag, instead of returning the function, we it is calling this function decrypt function. Now, if you remember from the previous demonstration, uh, we know what this function is. Uh, this is a function which takes an encrypted string and decrypts it. So the string that it is trying to decrypt is this string here. Now, if you remember, this was the string that was that was present in the div tag so basically what the function did was it 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 got the html content it looked for the div tag and if the div tag is present div tag means in this case this one if this this div tag is present it will extract the content that is between div safe colon space and space balance greater than so anything between the string between this this 
is extracted and then in this case that string is passed to the decrypted function which will decrypt to if I after running the function which will decrypt to uh, this string here jbc01 so if you remember that's exactly what we decrypted from the decryptor okay then once decrypted let's see what it's doing you see that here after decrypting that that string it is looking for it is reading the first character and checking if it is capital J so now if you remember that's exactly the reason why I configured inet sim to give this content so that because I've already analyzed the malware I know that this string will decrypt to uh, a string whose first character is capital J now if if you see this if this character is capital J malware is going to do something if it is not J what will happen is it is going to check if the first character is capital D okay so in this case because the first character is capital J it's going to take this path rather than this path okay so we'll see what happens so if the if the first character is capital J what it's going to do is it will read the fifth character that is fifth character is in this case zero character zero that is which has a ASCII value of I mean which has a x value of 30 okay and then if the if the if the character fifth character is zero what it will do is it will read the sixth character which is one ASCII string one and then it will convert that to integer in this case when you convert it to integer the value is one and that value is multiplied with this number that is 3600,000 okay 36,100,000 and then what it will do is it will return from the function and the return value notice here it is not zero this time it is one which means uh, it is an indication that this function succeeded which means uh, it was it was successfully able to get the uh, they get the content within the due tag and decrypt it that's exactly what it means and then what happens is it comes out of the function it will check if the return value is zero if it is not equal to zero in this case it is not equal to zero what will happen is it will go and sleep and if you remember the parameter to the sleep is that value 3600,000 which was multiplied by one the reason one is because the sixth character of the decrypted string was one so just to reiterate the malware decrypted the content from the div tag which is this content okay and then that decrypted to a string like this jabc01 then it checked if the first character is j if the first character is j it checked if the fifth character is zero if the fifth character is zero it took the sixth character that is one and then multiplied with 3600,000 which is again 3600,000 which is this value in hexadecimal and that is used as a parameter to sleep so basically now after running this you will see that malware will sleep for 3600,000 seconds I believe that is for one hour so let me hit uh, uh, F8 and you'll see that the malware is actually running and there is no activity it is just sleeping so now so what does it mean it means that the malware takes this content between the between this div safe colon and balance and decrypts it decrypts it and after decryption if the first character is j it will use it as a command okay so if the first character is j it is a command to the malware to sleep so basically and then depending on uh, the sixth character it is going to multiply with 3600,000 and then it will sleep for those many seconds. So now we know that uh, the content within the div cat is used as a is decrypted and used as a command. In this case, if the first character is J, the, the functionality of the malware is to sleep. Okay. In the 
in the if you remember if the first character is not j what it will do is it will check if the first character is capital d so uh, in order to determine the functionality we have to give a string which will decrypt to something and the first character will be d in the next demonstration that's exactly what we'll do i will configure inet sim to contain a string within the div tag which will decrypt to uh, a, uh, decrypt to a string whose first character will be d and then let's see what what malware does